Alright, and welcome back everybody. Today, we are going to build a laser ship to go ahead and take out this laser, uh, these laser fools that we've been battling and being in a stalemate with. This is our current fleet as we have it right now, and, uh, and I they did add, um, <laughs> some helicopter sounds to the game. So it sounds, uh, really cool. You got a bunch of helicopters now. This is great. But, uh, yeah, so this is our last design. This is supposedly our anti-air vehicle. It does really well, unless the, um, uh, I guess air targets are floundering about. Uh, and then this is our first design, yada yada. We got our little builder craft with balloons and our Dirty Dave. So now I think I'm going to go ahead and retrofit this smoky guy right here for uh, some lasers. We'll have like a Mark II version of it using the same chassis. And hopefully we can break the stalemate with the lightning hoods. And yeah, so I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and make this the Angry Wombat. I know you guys were talking about uh, wanting to see me build a massive, tiny, uh, fast air fleet. That we can go ahead and uh, hit enemy territory and jump out. And I like that idea a lot. Probably do something like that for when we fight the Scarlet Dawn next, but the uh, Lightning Hoods are a pretty small faction right now on our map. Uh, I think we can go ahead, wipe them out fairly quickly with uh, a good design that can actually, I guess, ground some of their, uh, some of their, I guess, damaged flying targets. So that's what the uh, objective of this vehicle is going to be, this angry wombat. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and pull this gun apart and uh, just gut everything out of here and just probably have like three, uh, three sets, or no, uh, three laser tubes going down here, like one, two, three probably connect it up at the head here nothing too fancy and then uh, and then just like one laser beam uh, powerful laser beam with some high AP shooting out of here just so we can uh, just so we can you know at least slow down some targets that are flying around us so the rest of these uh, regular wombats can uh, hammer away at them so all right uh, that's the plan for now and all right so we've cleaned out a bunch of the uh, top part of our hole here and if I remember correctly I think the multi-purpose laser is the first thing that we want to go ahead and add on this thing here. This is our original turret right here. It goes all the way down to the floor, uh, underwater here. <laughs> just kind of like that. So all we're doing is just adding this uh, multi-purpose laser here. Then we're going to add a, uh, yeah, combine, combine the laser into an offensive thing. And then we want some steering optics. I think, if I remember correctly, six of these should do the trick. Uh, four, five, six. Something like that. Yeah, so we can get those high air targets. Let's see. Yeah, that's about it. So six is like a good number there. And then we want to get a uh, combiner, optics, steering. Oh yeah, this makes it more accurate. So bada boom, there we go. Accuracy is good. Let's just send it all the way to the front of this uh, creature. <laughs> like so. We guess, uh, I guess I can always put some wood around it. Make it uh, extra strong. Something like that. Alright, so that's the easy part. Now it comes for the uh, tricky part. Is we want to go ahead and I think add a coupler behind this. I might have to read this a little more. I, it's weird. There's laser connectors, laser couplers. I think we go like, uh, oh, it's coming back to me now. Yeah, coupler here. And I think we could run a few couplers all the way down uh, the side here and then create some more tubes and combine three lasers into one. We'll see. All right, give me some more time with it. And now it's finally coming back to me. Okay, so we need these connectors here, these laser connectors to connect the couplers <laughs> together to form one big laser that connects to the multi-purpose laser. <laughs> it's a little confusing, but all right, so we got, uh, we're working on our first one right here, just trying to gauge how much power we have to uh, expend for, uh, for I guess, each laser. Uh, obviously, this can only take about a third of our power since we're gonna have three of them, and we do need some Q switches up here, so let's go ahead here. This will uh, chop up the laser from a continuous beam to a, uh, you know, a pulsing beam, which is very good, it's very good. I like the, uh, there we go. Let's add, um, yeah, I guess three is good. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe more. I don't know. Uh, and then we'll see how much, uh, okay, so now we get to the, uh, the stabilizers. Uh, so we go to laser, uh, what, where is this at? Coupler? Transceiver? I just got, a uh, cavity. Oh yeah, cavity. Here we go. So <laughs> the frequency doubler, uh, or destabilizer, this adds damage. So usually I'll put these on, uh, first. Probably about two of these is good, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, for something about this long, two of these is good. Otherwise, there's going to be a huge drain of power. Uh, maybe three. No, I think two is safe for now since we'll have three of these bad boys. And a bunch of frequency doublers to increase the AP on our laser. What do we got here? We have, uh, let's see here, no beam. Oh, here we go. Oh, cool. So we have pulse laser damage of 126, AP 6 so far, 2,000 range almost. Um, yeah. That's, that's pretty decent for just one of these. Uh, obviously, we'll, we'll make this a little better. Let me do some more testing and some shooting at targets to see how far we can take this. And the gun design is complete on our uh, Angry Wombat here. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, realized that our engine down below here uh, was actually missing a supercharger right about here. So uh, this went ahead and gave us more power and I also added two more fuel tanks down here. I did that to our Wombat as well. So now we actually have overall way more power. Last time we had like 900 something. 
And now I think we have, uh, like, I don't know, I think it's about 1,200. So that's pretty good, and I added a few more laser, uh, cav or one more laser cavity, a few more laser pumps, to finally bring this thing up to about, uh, yeah, 1,000 damage. And only one Q-switch, I have the Q-switch right below here, uh, on each one of these, so it's just going to be one huge pulse laser beam, uh, every so often that's gonna penetrate really far into the enemy's hole. Let's see if it works, let's test it out, and I got one of our old wombats over there, so let's see if this, uh, goes ahead and does a good job on our little test subject here. Now, the range for this guy is, is uh, infinite, so let's see here, alright, so let's, uh, okay, so he's turned around, <laughs> and boom, the one big laser shot is going off. Whoops, my bad. Uh, yeah, there we go. So let's take a look at how these guys are performing. Oh gosh, alright, so that guy's already shooting off. Oh, I love it! <laughs> I think they really improved the, uh, the sound in this game as well since the last patch, but alright, so... Oh yeah, I wanted to take a look at our damage and power here uh, on the build. So let's see if we are... Alright, so we're not maintaining our thousand damage for this laser beam, but I think it's doing a good enough job to where it will bring down whatever we needed to bring down. Uh, I'm happy with this because I don't feel like adding on more to the engine here. I, 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 this is this is good enough. Uh, because now our cannons... Wow, they're really loud. Now our cannons can go ahead and bring down anything that the laser may uh, disable that might be a hard target to hit. So I think these two working together is just going to be awesome. And just another thing I'm noticing, they're adding so much to this game all the time. Uh, there's a shield color changer now. <laughs> I went ahead and uh, I just added this on. Really, it's, it's just, it's all for cosmetics. Uh, so you can go in here and adjust the different colors. I have it set to red, green, no blue, and uh, alpha 2.0. So it's a little more vibrant. And, uh, oh man, this looks so cool. It's like watermelon of death time. Alright, so we got this guy with shields. Added another one on the back to our, uh, to our original wombat since we have more power now. Since I discovered, I forgot that little engine piece. And there we go, so we got this guy with the shields, tanky, up front kind of guy, still no missile defense, that's going to be our weakness for now, but uh, but, oh yeah, that's right, shoot, I didn't forget, I, I didn't do this guy yet, oh my bad. And for our angry wombats, only the most sophisticated form of armor for such a sophisticated vehicle, uh, wood plating upon wood plating, very smooth and, uh, and elegant planks. Uh, upon one another. <laughs> so that's how we do it here, and plenty of power for the shooty. Okay, so, uh, on to the campaign. Gonna remake the fleets, and, uh, yes, let's get to a serious war here. We're gonna take these lightning hoods over. Can't wait. And the Wombat 10 are, uh, bravely moving into enemy territory. Uh, they are, uh, gonna be locked in combat once again. Yeah, so I went ahead and pulled us out of that stalemate that we had before, because... It was a stalemate, and we were just sitting around doing nothing. So what I got here in our new formation is we have uh, six of the uh, Electro Wombats, the angry ones, with the nice big laser cannons. And then we have our uh, four uh, old Wombats, or not really old, but the four that uh, are tanky with the uh, anti-air cannons from last episode. So here we go. Looks like we are in a fight now. Let's go ahead and do this thing. Hopefully we all just don't uh, get into another stalemate. That's what I'm really looking forward to. So let's uh, let's check this out here. Oh, I'm standing on the barrel of one of our uh, cannons here. Hopefully our smoke screen is go is going to work. Uh, oh boy, there's there's a very these guys are very. Oh my gosh, are those missiles? Am I seeing things right or what? Those are missiles. Oh my gosh, that's the worst thing we could could have ever uh, hoped for or not hoped for. So all right, let me uh, let me. Move the camera around, hopefully we'll get some hits from some of these guys. All these missiles are gonna hurt big time. But luckily I have tons of repair bots on all of our ships. And, uh, oh man, I just don't think... What the heck? <laughs> oh no! Well, there's two ships destroyed already right off the bat. These guys always come up with all these new tricks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the destruction, the devastation. Uh, but hopefully we can bounce back. Uh, we'll see. They're just gonna hover up there, and there's still nothing we can do about it. I can't believe it. Still nothing we can do about this. They're flying around just fine. What the hey, man? Alright. <laughs> and they're absolutely destroying us. Oh, man, oh, man. It seems like we need a few, uh, air vessels as well. I might just crack out the arc wink to go ahead and lend some, uh, shots on these guys so they don't just, uh, get away with bombing us to death, and then that's about it. So, yeah, so it looks like all our laser cannons are out. Uh... <laughs> for the most part. Wow. And the fighting is hot and heavy here in the center of this uh, destruction, this mess. Looks like we are downing this guy unless he's just trying to play cute. Uh, no, it looks like we have done some critical damage on him. That's amazing. All right. This is this uh, space crazy machine with his laser on the front. Uh, and he's launching more missiles. Oh, how many frag heads are on these? Like three? 
Oh, this is so mean. But this is war. So, uh, all right, let's see how these things destroy our last remaining boats that are just shooting off shots all through the sky. Hopefully, I mean, it looks like we've slowed down these guys enough to where maybe these cannons can land some shots. Uh, all right, so we got cannons going off. Any more laser ships together? Oh, it looks like... Yes, it looks like we are starting. <laughs> oh, there's no power out of that, that's for sure. But, all right, who... Glad, uh, oh, are you still working? Are you still working? Not really. Just connect that little part. Thank you. Thank you very much. Something's exploding around here. Probably us. Oh, bye. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's... I couldn't tell. But it looks like we may be holding still. We're losing resources at, at an alarming rate. Uh, from like 30,000 to 20,000 uh, natural just in the last clip. <laughs> but if we can just capture one of their resource zones, that would make me, uh, make me very happy today. Very happy. So this sucker right here, if we can just get a few lasers. Oh look, we got we got some lasers down here shooting at him or attempting to. Uh, yeah, and we're landing some some DACA on him. Thank goodness. Yeah, he's banged up. I don't even think he's shooting that much. All right, so hopefully I repair. He's gonna go ahead and uh, outweigh this. Oh darn, I'm dying. Crap. Let me get out of here. <laughs> um, oh darn, I really can't die. Wow, this is this is a fierce fight, ladies and gentlemen. This is fierce. Got water in the camera. I can't see what the heck's going on because I'm dying. And there's no way out of this. This death trap. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's missiles exploding all around. Um, our only hope is to repair fast enough. Uh, still losing resources, majorly. Oh my goodness, yes, we need an anti-missile option. Darn it, I'm gonna have to play the um, story missions to unlock that. <laughs> the anti-missile laser, because this is this is uh yeah this is this is not good. Oh, but luckily, I just realized they landed in the water and they're getting blown up by their own, yes, by their own missiles that are just floating around here. Ha! Take that, sucker. Oh my gosh, what a great explosion that is. That was like the most fantastic, most satisfying. Is he still alive? Nah. Nah, forget it. Forget it. All right, what else is going on around here? What else is flying? What are these missiles coming from? What? I came from space, man. Oh, no, this guy over here. Look at that. Darn that guy. All right, we'll get him. We'll get him. We got some lasers repairing. Uh, yes, repairing on the Jiffy. We're almost out of natural, but I think we can repair enough. And we leveled up. <laughs> and the torpedoes are coming at underneath our hulls here. Darn it. Stop it. Look at these darn things, man. I thought these were the uh, the lightning hoods, not the, not the little stinkers. All right, so uh, this guy here, this little puny thing is just floating around. Oh my gosh, am I dying again? Get out of here. Get out of my house. That's it. I'm getting out of my house, actually. There we go. See you later. <laughs> uh, you can repair yourself, because we're pretty much going to be out of resources soon. And uh, can, can anyone lend, land a shot on one of these little things? Man, this little thing. Look at that. That's it. I've had it. I've had enough of this. Um, we got to make like... I mean, how do you defeat this nonsense? I mean, look at this guy. So, hmm. So lasers didn't do it. We need to figure out some way of beating these guys. Uh, flying laser ship? And all right, so we're here in the story mission doing some, uh, doing some progress here, blowing up some of these guys just so we can unlock the anti-missile laser. Uh, I don't like how the game forces you to play the story missions in order to get like all the tools you need. But, whatever, we gotta do what we gotta do, uh, hang tough, and alright, looks like, wow, looks like all these bullets are ricocheting off our thing, and this guy is getting hit, whoever the heck this is, get out of here, so we can get our lasers, what is that up there, what's that, that looks important, alright, well, whatever, okay, so this guy's dead, whoever he was, who was attacking our base or something, and, uh, and there we go, so what, so do we win now, I think we, uh, spawn next enemy wave? I don't know, they look pretty messed up. <laughs> Alright, so I told this thing to spawn the next enemy wave, whatever it takes to get this, uh... Okay, good, so, oh, 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 let's put ourselves back in combat here. Uh, oh, good, looks like the Arkwink has joined us in this battle as well. Who are these crazy little fellows? I guess this is kind of fun, we gotta, like, defend this from all these strange little creatures. Here's the Arkwink dude. <laughs> what? Oh, that's right, those are the Harpoon missiles, yeah, very cool. So the Arkwink is doing his, uh, bombardment from way way far away maybe it's too far away <laughs> he's not really oh there we go one hit actually hit how's he doing out there he's doing all right he's flying around dodging some stuff uh and how are we doing over on this side i think we are uh 
Wow, we're doing all right. Wow, that's that's pretty cool harpoon hooks right there. I gotta say, we gotta get in, into that one day. Uh, yeah. So we're, I guess I guess his mission is just defend the base, right? All right. <laughs> Look at this air support coming on in here on the Steel Striders mission. Oh yeah, we we uh we should have this. I mean, like I think I went way over the points you needed <laughs> to do this mission. I just want to get it done. And I'm not really seeing. Hey, I'm not really seeing much left. And very cool, this seems like the next mission, uh, or the next wave of, of enemies, I, I suppose. Is that how this works? Yeah, so we got, we got, uh, oh, there we go, this is a good fight right here. Looks like the Arcwink is locked on to his favorite target here. So he's going ahead and, uh, attacking whoever this guy is. What is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so pretty when it started. Look at us, we're just, like, laughing. We're just flying around like a bunch of, uh, reckless abandoned, uh, oh, hey, there's nothing left of that guy. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh darn, missiles are on the way. Maybe they'll uh, miss us? Well, we're missing them entirely. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to hit. And it seems like our ground forces are uh, hitting as well. Uh, over here, looks like we're in range there. And, the and another mission has gone to a victory. Uh, now, I think we are ready to go ahead and finally add our missile uh, laser defense. Oh yeah, here's the last sucker. Yep, see you later. Alright, and final design, final go at this. I bring you guys the Super Wombat. Alright, <laughs> this is it. This, I'm gonna make nothing, I'm gonna spam these ships like crazy and hopefully we'll take over the uh, the entire Lightning Hoods area. Uh, I have a bunch of uh, laser, uh, or I guess anti-missile lasers, so pretty much all I did was extend out with laser connectors uh, from our, from our uh, I guess, laser assembly here. Kind of ran these connectors out and just attached a bunch of these uh, laser missile defenses out here. And there you go, and then uh, the only way to have these things work is you have to make sure you go into your AI tab and, uh, and, and get like a little six-way connector, put a little uh, I, uh, AI wireless receiver on here, and then a bunch of these missile warning systems, and that's all in the, uh, that's all in, in the AI right here. So just like missile, uh, or yeah, missile warners all around a six-way connector that's Wi-Fi into the, uh, you know, whatchamacallit. So there you go. So that's all you need to do and then we also in this design here uh, now that we have a shield here so we have pretty much anti everything we have smoke we have shield we have uh, anti-missiles and now we also have uh, tons and tons of engines down in here we have like four engines I have running down here let me press caps lock to pull us out uh, yes yeah, so we have four engines running down here at once uh, I, I tried to make a larger one whatever I found this was just the best way to do it so just four, four individual engines just running doing their own thing. <laughs> it's a madhouse down here. Literally, it is a madhouse. If anything blows up down here, uh, it's going to be expensive. But okay, so let's get back into the campaign. One last time, let's do this thing. Okay, and one last time, I'm so ready to do this one. I made, made a fleet right here. Look at this. Okay, so we got four of these uh, regular wombats. Did I even spell that right? Yeah, I think I did. And uh, super wombats right behind with their lasers and their anti-missiles and their smoke and something else. But yeah, they have a lot of anti of everything. Uh, I think they're going to be key players throughout the rest of this entire campaign. Let's go ahead, spawn these guys in, and I also have an arc wink on on the uh, in, in reserves there. All right, see, so I got I got the arc wink. Uh, geez, come on, here we go. Uh, right on over here. Come on, wait, what the heck? Oh, it's right, it's right there. Yeah, so we can go ahead and spawn them in if we need them. Oh my gosh, what the heck is going on? <laughs> all right, all right, so we are in the middle of battle. Don't jump in front of the barrels. Okay. Um, whoa, no. I tell you what, every time I spawn in this darn thing, there's like, there's like new, uh, enemies. Like, I, it's a razor guy, right? I think this is like the, uh, slicer and dicer. Wow. Alright, just killed the camera guy. And, oh, okay, good. So it looks like we're bringing this guy down. Uh, I feel like this is a good time to bring in the arc wink. Mother of goodness. Uh, yeah, bring him in. Bring in the arc wink. Hopefully we can go ahead and do a flanking shot. Are they literally colliding with my beautiful ship? Stop it. All right, here we go. Come on, Arcwing, do it up. Everyone set the combat right, ignoring salvage. Let's do it. Okay, so, <laughs> and this guy has claws, too. Is he clawing his way? Oh, look at that, Arcwing. Let's let's zoom over here. Uh, luckily, uh, missiles shouldn't be an issue this time since we got these, like, bazillion uh, anti-missile lasers. Here we go. Come on, let's get a hit. Hit this sucker. Come on. Um, there we go. Oh, he's got shields. Duh. Missing some action over here. Seems like our guys in the water are still pretty much uh, together, and looks like they have hooked onto my beautiful Arcwink, this dirty man. Uh, uh, and are they gonna try to ram it? No. Are we okay? Are we cool. All right. So there's that, and there's this. These seem to be doing pretty good. I don't see any missing heads yet. 
Uh, but I, I mean, like, I tell you what, these guys are like, what the heck is this guy doing here? Oh, what the? What? He took one of my ships and he threw it in the air. He's in the air with one of my ships. What? Now I've seen everything now in this game. So this guy's trying to uh, disable this guy, pull him in, and slash him. Wow, already wrecked. I don't even know why I made an arc. We gotta get rid of that. Uh, at least versus these laser guys. <laughs> and we are trying and shooting as hard as we can to... Oh yeah, good. We're getting these uh, missiles out, right? Hit the missile. Come on. There we go. We hit it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So... Oh good, and he finally let go of this guy. He is Tyrannosaurus wrecked. Yep. Alright. And, uh, but we're still continuing to shoot at this guy here. Uh, his laser seems bent. Don't know why his laser's bent like that. Whatever, there's so much action for the computer to think straight, so I understand. I totally get it. But look at this go, okay. So this is very good, very good. Now I'm seeing an explosion right, right there. Oh, look at that sweet, sweet. He's falling down to the ocean. Oh, but this thing, that's gonna be, uh, I, you know, I'm not really worried about that flying saucer. That's, that's alright. That thing's gonna spin around in the sky for a while, and he's just gonna just harass the Arc Wink, whatever. Sorry, Arc Wink, uh, uh, you know, whatever. And now, we are shooting at the slow targets. Finally, our, uh, our little, uh, uh, whatever, rats, muskrats, whatever they're called. They are shooting at this guy now, finally. Oh, you know what? How come, oh, are these bullets disappearing again? They might be disappearing. No, they're still here. I, I thought I took out enough of these uh, cannon ships to where the bullets wouldn't disappear. Uh, but we do have lasers shooting at this guy, right? No? No, he's directly overhead, of course. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I don't care. It looks like we did take this guy out. Look at that. That's awesome. He's now salvage. I might just tell our, uh, our gunships to go ahead and shoot at the uh, salvage just for now. So we can uh, make sure that guy is completely wiped out and not coming back. Uh, there we go. Wombat, wombat. There we go. You guys attack that, that sucker right there. Do it up. I want to see him blow up. Are they? Yeah, there, there they go. Yeah, so they're turning their heads, shooting at the salvage over here. Hopefully we can repair some, uh, I guess they're not. <laughs> oh, there we go. But we still have... Oh, this ship's flipped over, man. What a bummer. Ah, man. These lightning hoods are all out. Insane. Oh, and I just realized this is the best time to jump on the salvage here and take it for our own so we can get all these resources. Oh my gosh, look at that guy's going down. This is great day. Oh, there's a, there's a flying uh, razor saucer over our heads. But that's okay. But guy is not worried. Oh man, there's exploding still going on. That guy had a little uh, explosion of some sort. And let's go ahead and capture this thing. Alright, so where is the control panel on this sucker? Oh gosh, are we shooting at this now? <laughs> I told everyone to stop shooting at salvage. They don't. Oh crap, man! What the? No, I told you stop it, man. Are they still shooting? No, I told them to ignore. Is this? Sh oh cool, this is ours now. Yeah, I'm repairing it. Nice, sweet, very good, very good life. Okay, so this thing is now ours. Ha! And there's a thing over there. Maybe we can jump on that. All right, in mid battle, I built one of these little builders on our little busted up ship here. And, uh, and I actually told it to go ahead and disassemble the, uh, the, uh, the Caspian. That's what it's doing right now, so we're getting all these resources mid-battle. Uh, and there we go, so it doesn't get destroyed. Now we have one last target. Right up here, look at this guy, desperately. How are we not hitting this guy? He's just floating there. What are we shooting at? This thing? I'll tell you what we're gonna shoot at right now. Command mode. Uh, wombats, target this fool right over here, right now. And let's just take this guy out. Uh, there we go. Now they should listen to my commands. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Alright, now we're shooting at this guy. There we go, get the easy targets. Yeah, lay into the side of him, like so. And he is messed up now. He's in some serious trouble. Where am I? I'm still down there. Hello, waving hello. And maybe once he goes down, he's pretty close to me now. This is awesome. Alright, maybe when he goes down, where are we at? There we are. Let's go ahead. And, uh, oh, his AIs did it. We can jump on him. We can capture him. Good, and everyone started shooting at this monster. Looks like we're gonna do it, guys. I can't believe it. We're gonna do it. It's a happy day. I really want to claim this guy. I think he goes away after one minute. Oh, wait, maybe it's now. Darn, it's now. We lost him. But that's okay, though. We're gonna get this guy soon. We are laying into him with everything that we've got. What a great combination of lasers, anti-missiles, and DACA. 
<laughs> Where's my popcorn at? Oh, the whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa, watch out. Watch out. And now the explosions are happening. I'm going to take a risk and, uh, oh, wait, what the heck is this guy? Who is this guy? I'm going to jump on him right now. Let's check this out. Oh, let's get on this guy. Can we do it? Oh, this is so Matrix right here. <laughs> oh, wait, he's smashing into my ship. Oh, I can't believe we just missed it. Yeah, so you guys telling me that, like, oh, yeah, just jump on ships and capture them. It's really hard to do. It's really hard. I can't believe that guy. I can't believe him. He's just driving through my fleet, just smashing everything, and he's repairing this guy. Hey, I, I know what I gotta do. I gotta tell everyone to attack that little pipsqueak right there. That is that is the issue at hand. Uh, so wombats, get this little auto repair dude, whoever the heck he is, whatever his name is, and there we go. There we go. So now, look at this guy. Is he a, is he an intentional rammer or what? Oh, of course we're blowing up. <laughs> we're blowing up our ship too. You know. But hey, that's that's the way it works in Bud Kai Nation. This is uh, or what what do we call this? This is Barbaria. In Barbaria, we blow everything up. There we go. Now that guy's dead. Sweet, and we're kind of alive. And now this guy has no more repair tentacles left to aid his cause. Oh no! What are you doing? Oh, I can't believe the luck of this guy. Jeez, man, he's totally he's gonna hit it. He's gonna hit it. Stop it. No, <laughs> gosh, man. Why did everyone stop shooting? Oh, I see. He's dead. We won our first battle against the Lightning Hoods. I can't believe it. After this counts down, that's that. AI is dead. Unbelievable. We've done it. Crap, and they're getting stronger. But, uh, so are we, because we're figuring this stuff out. And, yeah. All right, guys, so I'll see you next time. We're going to mop the floor with these guys. Uh, we're going to make a bigger fleet, because we got... Oh my gosh, a ginormous amount of resources. This is wonderful. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.